Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Play or Pass, the review show where I play a game for a little while and I tell you what I think of it. Today we're going to be tackling a very interesting beast, and that is a little game called Anti-Chamber from a man by the name of Alex Bruce. This game has been worked on for quite a while, and it's won an insane amount of awards. Um, and for good reason, too. This game is technically... Des I mean, this is what it comes down to. This is one of the best designed art games I've ever played in my life. And I've been struggling to find anything to compare it to, except for a game called uh, LSD uh, Dream Emulator. Not a lot of people know about this game. It's more of an obscure game, I guess you could say. Um, but it was basically a game that only came out in Japan, but it was just a ridiculous game. And uh, this game is similar to that in the art style and the kind of just abys not abysmal, but like in just kind of the free moving, just kind of take things as they come. It's really hard to explain the game, and the best way to really show it is to well explain it is to show it. Um, and actually, I felt this room was one of the best rooms to show off in the game because it kind of gets you ready for the type of art style you're going to be seeing and just kind of the stuff you're going to be dealing with. And actually. The last time, this room is different than the last time I came in here, and it seems like it's different every single time I do come in here. So we have this clock right here, it spells out the word life. Now this game is more of an experience, uh, yeah, see this is different too. This game is more of an experience than anything, and unfortunately, some people who see this game immediately think of Portal for whatever reason. I mean, I can see why that happens, and that seems to happen with a lot of games that, you know, have a first-person perspective that aren't first-person shooters. And I, so I get that, but at the same time, this game, it's almost kind of insulting to call this game a Portal clone, or to say it's like Portal, because it's so much more than that. It's such a beautifully designed game, and oh man, I, I absolutely love it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've only been playing for about 45 or so minutes. And I figured I could go ahead and uh, show you guys what I've done so far. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure how... Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I walk backwards to this. Oh, man. See, a lot. that's a lot of the stuff like that. What is this? A few steps backwards. Make, okay, cool. So that's basically just telling us how we did that pro properly. Um, one of the things about this game is at its core... Oh, whoa. Weird. All right, so maybe I'm supposed to walk backwards again. No? Uh, so the game does, just so, just kind of telling you, this game does have some frame rate issues, uh, but I'm recording with Fraps. This game is kind of a beast to run, uh, not quite, I mean, probably not for most people who like gaming PCs and stuff like that, but for me personally. Uh, did I do that right? Oh, cool, I did. So, the world looks different on the other side. So the idea also behind this game is you're supposed to be like uncovering all of the, I'm sorry about the volume button if you see that. Uh, you're supposed to be collecting kind of all these uh, wall paintings where they kind of have these short little blurbs on them. I don't really know what we're supposed to do with this. So the whole idea of the game is it's kind of funny how it's not even a puzzle platformer as much as it's just a puzzle first person experience where there's a lot of very strange solutions to things. But then at the same time, once you figure it out, it makes a lot of sense. So things as simple as walking instead of running to solve a puzzle. Um, I think I actually might have just figured something out in the long run just now. Because there's a certain spot in, later in the game where I was having trouble keeping the door open. A red door open at, at that. Uh, but I don't know where to go from here. But yeah, it can be something as simple as like walking instead of running to solve a puzzle. Whoa, this is just messing with my mind! And like whenever something like that happens, you can totally just see Fraps drop. Like you can't handle it. I'm just trying to figure out where it wants me to go. So it's very easy to end up in other areas of the game on accident. Alright, so that door's open now, so I think what we want to do is if you hit escape, you always come back to this main uh, hub world. And you can see right here we have this collect a, uh, collection of all the different uh, hints and trips and stuff that the game's given us. Um, I also think this is cool, that's got like all the all you need to know, just all right here. All on one wall. Also, something else that's pretty crazy is the fact that you have a time limit. Uh, you have an hour and uh, I think an hour, almost, maybe it was two hours, to uh, explore this whole area. 
Now, obviously, you can't get through everything, but that's okay. Um, I think... Where was this at? I'm trying to figure out where this red door was at that I'm trying to get back to. Here's a red door right here. See, this is kind of cool. These orbs move around. Oh, man. See, like, depending on what you do with the area, like, see, now I'm not moving. When I start moving again, all that comes. And now if I stop moving and I walk slowly, it doesn't happen. It's all very, very interesting and strange and just beautifully, beautifully weird is the only way I can describe this game. And it's just so odd. The way I described it to the developer, because uh, I was lucky enough, he sent me a review copy. See, I, don't, I haven't been able to figure this puzzle out, unfortunately. And the hint is, what looks out of reach may only be a few steps away. And I haven't been able to figure this one out. So I thought about doing like a let's play of this, like not even really a let's play, just kind of a run through of the game because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to do a let's play because I, I just, I don't know how to do this. Whoa, I just shifted the doors. I have not done that, have I? Nope, this is new. So, oh no, I have done that. Um, let's fix this then, because I've been over there. Oop. So now we walk this time instead. No, wait, how'd I do that? There we go. Uh, I, but then, you know, I was like, oh, you know, let's play this game would be kind of cool. And I'm like, I don't even, like, I honestly, this game stumps me all the time. Like, I literally just do not know what to do with it sometimes. And that's good. That's really good. This game's got a lot of replayability. Oh, there's the end. Interesting. Uh, but I don't know how to get rid of these blocks yet. And I know that's, like, a big part of the game. So instead of walking over that this time, I just kind of jumped straight for it. And this is actually like back at the beginning of the game. What's this? That looks important, doesn't it? Like, whoa, is that like moving around or does it just look like that because of the white wall perspective? I think that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, this game, they limit you on how much time you have to get through the level or through the whole game, which I think is kind of cool. Some people might not like that as much. Actually, yeah, we're back at the beginning now. Which, I don't want to be here because I'm pretty sure, except I'm pretty sure there's like a red path. I think last time I did this I kept taking the uh, blue stairs, so I'm going to take the red stairs instead this time. There is an item you get at some point in the game, or at least that's what I saw in the trailers, and I really don't know where we're supposed to find that. But yeah, like I said, this game is closest, for me anyway, the only game I could really relate this to is a game called LSD Dream Emulator, but even even then it's so much more different. Because the thing about LSD was it was more of like an exploratory game where you kind of just experience things for the first time and it was just such an odd game and I eventually want to do a video on it because it's such an interesting game. But this game, it's got like such a, it's got so much more puzzle to it and so much more intrigue. Like I said, this game won a lot of awards. Let's see, this is where I just was. Looks like that leads to a dead end. Uh, hmm. I'm having some trouble with this area. And it looks like they kind of tell you, like, you can see that this kind of stems down somewhere. So let's go back to Stairway to Heaven. Let's see if we can figure this area out. What was over here? Oh, hey, look. I did something good. I just... See, that's the thing, like, you just don't know what you're doing. Like, and I'm not, I'm not even complaining. It, I love it. Ooh, this corner, that's... It's, uh, the aesthetic. You know, this game will make you feel so dumb, and it'll, it won't tell you what to do. Which is totally fine with me. I like having to figure it out for myself. But it's really hard to make a video showing off why this game is so good. Because when you watch someone else play, you're like, What are you doing, man? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Oh, you know what? We were just over here. Uh, it, and it, that's just that's what makes this game so interesting is that it's an experience you really can't share this is probably one of the very few games out there that would be a really weird game to let's play because it's just so hard to make people understand what it is you're actually playing and I've fallen down there before and I don't think I actually figured this out eh, damn it I don't think this is where I want to go is it? have I seen this yet? Yeah, I've already seen that. We're actually go. Oh, okay, so that's over there now. See, like, this is just screwing up with all of my senses. 
I think that's back down to like the pit with the sheep. I think, or not the sheep. It, it says like it has. A, let me see. I can't even look down there. Oh, I jumped. Oops. Yeah, I don't want to be here. Game. Into darkness. Okay, that's this. I wonder if there's like a path I can walk off of. Whoa. 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 This is crazy. What the hell did I just do? Where am I going right now? What the hell, man? I got I just got shivers, man. That was crazy. Venturing into unknown can lead to great rewards. That was nuts. Whoa. I love this game. I really do. The end may come before we were ready to get there. Whoa. Hey! What? Did I just beat the game? Life isn't about getting to the end. Okay. I was gonna say, there's no way I just beat this. I would have been disappointed. Whoa! There's an arrow. Can I walk through this glass? Hmm. Unless it, like, shifted perspective. I am so confused. What do you want, Arrow? Tell me where to go. Wants me to go that way. I don't know how. See, there's just so many things about this game, like, where you just don't know what to do. And the, the game, like, just relishes in that. It's just so much love. I feel like... This is going to, if people do end up posting videos on this game, those are going to be some of the most entertaining, well, part way really entertaining, the other part will just be like, okay, you're not going to be able to figure this out, just stop playing the game. Gah! Okay, I'm not going to make it through the glass. What if I like just like stare through this for a while? No? Nothing? Okay. Like, you never know what you might miss. That's where a lot of, Oh, wait, maybe if I look over there. Ah, oh, what did I have? A genius. I don't know how I just did that. At times we need to view the... Oh, my God. I, every time I solve one of these puzzles, I just get shivers. I get so excited. And I'm so proud of myself. Oh, hey, I think that's the uh, item we get. Except I don't know how we get to it. Um, hey, there's that dark room again. How do we get to that? That's what I want to know. Thing looks freaking cool. Ooh, I'm scared to go in there right now. I feel like I'm gonna miss something if I go in there now. Okay, something up here. No. Well, they gave me what? Is the arrow gonna disappear again? Try to do what you want me to do, game. And that's what it comes down to. It's just like, game, I, I'm trying to do what you ask me to do. Just let me do it. Okay, that, I don't know why they keep putting that arrow there. Last time they did that. I feel like it's got to have to do something with that. Is there anything with this top one? Also... What does it say? Venturing into unknown can lead to great rewards. Wait, was I just... Whoa, wait a minute. What are we doing here, man? I'm so confused. Whoa! Oh my god, what did I just do? <laughs> What have I just done? Holy shit! That was nuts! What the hell? So do I do something with this now? So let's see. So now I manipulate these cubes. So I can put one like right here. To make it stay. Maybe not. Unless maybe I need like another cube or something. 
Okay, but like over there. So I, I'm just trying to figure this out. What do they want me to do with this? So I can go so far. Oh, there we go. I think that's what they want me to do, to be honest. But I could be wrong. That's all I can think of. Oh, I gotta look at this one. Try hard enough and you will get to where you want to be. Can I pick this up? No, I can't. Let's see. There, that's so cool. Oh, man. Where do I want to go now, though? Do, I want, do we want to be over here? That's what I want to know. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard to like stay concentrated on talking about this game. But, you know, I'm learning a lot of this stuff as you watch me play it. Oh, what did I just do? Um, maybe. I think I just figured this out. I don't know the price of this game yet. It hasn't been announced, unfortunately. Uh, the game comes out, well, assuming I post this the day it comes out, it's supposed to come out the 31st. Uh, but I totally recommend this game. I don't care what the price is, to be honest. I think this game is worth a lot, to be honest. Like, I think that if this guy ends up charging, like, 30 bucks for this game, it would be worth $30. And that's just my opinion, obviously. This is, like, right up my alley. Like, I like Portal a lot. And I know some people will be turned off by this game because it's not a Portal clone, which I think is kind of funny. I think maybe I'm not supposed to... Where did I... Where was I just now? In here? Maybe I'm supposed to be, like, over... No, that's past to nowhere. No way in. Into darkness. No, I don't think I'm supposed to leave this area yet. Oh, I'm an idiot. They're showing me where to put it. I'm so stupid. Oh, God. And I'm trying to, like, show off my intelligence playing this game. Oh, boy. What is that? That looks important. Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Huzzah! Can I jump on these? Yep. Cool beans. But, yeah, this adds, like, a lot of depth. Like, the game already has so much depth. It's harder to progress if you're leaving things behind. Um, this game has got... This adds so much more to the game. Can I grab that one? No, I guess not. Oh, uh, what the hell? Uh, that's weird. Hmm. Let's see, can I grab another one? There we go. Oh. Um... I probably needed to bring this one with, huh? No, I don't think so. Damn it, that, that wasn't even close to fast enough, because I don't have any extra ones, do I? Just this one. So how do they want me to bring extras? What? Unless you hold them open? Which ones do you want me to hold open, bro? I, I have a feel. Oh, you know what? I just realized what I can do here. I can put this here. Take this one. Got it. I get it now. This game makes me feel so smart. That's and that's the thing. Like this game isn't that hard to grasp at some point. Like there's some thing. There's obviously some puzzles that are like a little bit higher knowledge. You know what I mean? Like where you actually have to think about it for a while. But then there's others that really aren't that difficult. I just figured out what I'm supposed to do. And that's what I think it comes to when you make like any kind of game with puzzles in it. You got to make some puzzles that like will actually really challenge some people. And then you gotta make others that are just like, okay, anyone could figure this out. That's, I mean, that's my opinion anyway. Like, I feel like if you want, I mean, and that's for like a successful game, obviously. What does it say? There are multiple ways to approach a solution. I don't like hearing that game. 
and I'm not very good at that. Oh god. Alright, well, I, I feel like this video's been going on long enough, and I don't really want to, like, show a bunch of stuff in the game, because I think, like, with puzzle platformers or puzzle games in general, you should leave a lot to be imagined or experienced for them, uh, for a person's self, I think, anyway. So, guys, this is Antichamber. It's a really, really awesome game. I absolutely love it, and I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it is a lot of fun. I don't care what the price ends up being. It's going to be available on Steam, or is available on Steam, on PC. Um, I'm using, uh, I guess I didn't even explain the more technical stuff. I'm using a mouse and a keyboard. The guy told me that Xbox 360 controllers aren't officially supported, and I recommend using a mouse and keyboard because it feels really natural. I mean, all you're using is WASD keys. So there's really no reason not to. Oh, apparently that leads to a bunch of rooms. So yeah, I'm actually going to end this off in my favorite room. Because, actually, if I can find it, I don't remember where it is. There we go. Hidden secrets. Right? Is that what I'm thinking of? The room with the... I think this is the room I want to be in. Is it? Oh, I don't... Where's the clock at? Oh, there we go. That's right. I forgot you had to, like, walk backwards to it. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't already uh, checked this game out, make sure you do. It's anti-chamber. It's super, super good. I really like it. Thanks again to the developer for giving me a copy of it. I hope uh, me doing a little look at it of your game is beneficial, and I hope everyone checks this game out. Anti-chamber gets a play, total play. Don't even think about passing this game up. It really is a really, really unique game, and I think everyone should give it a try. And I'm going to just keep playing it now because I'm having so much fun with it. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I'm Repanda Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.